Today we're going to show you how to use the mesh concept to beat man coverage consistently in Madden. And to do this, we're going to be in the West Coast Offensive Playbook. If you want to get my entire West Coast Offensive eBook, join the Patreon today for just $10. It'll get you access to everything, all of our eBooks. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive eBooks already. So if you want to become a better Madden player, the best place to do that is at the Patreon. You can sign up at the link down in the description. So for this video, we're going to set a couple of audibles because I want to talk about a couple of different routes that are really effective when using the mesh concept. Um, but essentially, we have stick, deep attack, deep corner, and mesh post. And what you're looking for whenever we're talking about specifically beating man coverage is we're looking for sharp cutting post routes, sharp cutting corner routes, and in this year's game, really like to utilize drag routes, okay? Mesh is essentially two drags crossing. Um, some mesh routes have man beating principles or zone beating principles where they can sit against zone and run against man and Madden it's a little simpler than that and we're really just focusing on these two drags so what you're going to see with this is if they send any kind of pressure whatsoever their user is going to be put in a position where he is going to have to choose one of the drags so what I like to do with this play is block my running back so I can pick up pressure I like to ID the the side opposite of the running back and essentially, we're going to be looking for one of these drags to come open. Now, the way the rack catch animations work this year, it makes this one of the best concepts in the game because you can catch and run. And next thing you know, you're going to be 50 yards down the field and they're not going to have any time to, you know, to bag you up. So another thing that's going to happen is as they start to see that you're going to run this mesh concept to beat man coverage, they're going to use one of the drags. So here they're going to choose that left side drag but or the right side drag but now the left side drag comes open right so you have two drags that get consistent separation against man coverage so now they're going to have to start making some adjustments one of the adjustments you might get would be something like this and then they're going to user this uh drag coming from left to right so in this example yes they're going to take away both the drags but now what you're going to see and this is why you call mesh post is that it's going to leave this entire space over the top for this post route to be able to run and potentially get some separation. Now, if you have slot apprentice, um, that's even better. And the reason why slot apprentice is even better is because slot apprentice is really one of the best abilities in the game, in my opinion. And the reason why is because it gives you the ability to put a slot apprentice post out here, which is a sharper cutting post route that will get more consistent separation against man coverage. As you'll see right here, he gets more consistent separation, and then in a cover zero situation, he's going to be off to the races, potentially for a big play. Now, we can apply this same principle to corner routes that we can apply to post routes. The reason this is going to be helpful is because a lot of times what people are going to do is they're going to start to basically user the mid-read defender and try to take away your post route consistently because that's the best route on the formation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to audible to a play such as stick or deep corner. I'll show you stick first because Dion has this little universal thing. It might not be as consistent, but again, we're just going to put our mesh routes out there just like so. And then you're going to see when he cuts to the sideline, you're going to freeform outside and you should be able to hit this consistently against man coverage. So now this is going to get your opponent out of playing man to man, which is the ultimate goal here. So let's say, for example, your opponent was setting up a, a send six pressure like this, and you know maybe they had some 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 matchups like this. This is uh, a lot of people are running this blitz right now. This is kind of the dubby blitz, but essentially uh, what you're going to get is the same basic principle. So let's say we're running the play stick. This is why this is such a good concept because what you're going to see is we're able to block six, so we're able to have some decent protection, at least time enough to hit this uh, this deep. Now they got absolutely screamed out right there. Um, we have time enough to hit the corner route or the or the other route. Let me show you that blitz again. And again, um, this is a pretty good blitz here this year. They are sending six. I'm going to put my user in a zone so that I'm not sending seven uh, at the at the opponent. But basically, this is the idea. And then they have this this kind of matchup like so. Okay, so a great way to counter this would be deep corner. And we're going to now utilize this drag. Um, to the outside receiver. So we're going to get this kind of mismatch and you should see this deep corner corner able to beat man coverage to the sideline. Just got to be able to catch the ball, but he's wide open, right? And then you can also, uh, in a defense like what what uh, a lot of people are running right now where they're utilizing this kind of blitzing concept, what, a, what another little thing that you can do with this is you normally will have the tight end completely mismatched 
to the flat. So you have them out leveraged horizontally, which is one of the reasons why mesh is such a good play. So you see, I can just throw this quick flat and I can get up field for, you know, 10 to 15 yards. Really, really good way to beat the blitz this year, I think, is these mesh concepts. But one of the big keys with the mesh concept is not always running a post route, right? The true air raid offenses of old, they don't just run post routes, but they also run corner routes. So a play like uh, deep corner is extremely valuable because we can now run this concept right here. And you'll see now my short corner is able to get uh, to the sideline and get separation. Obviously, I'm sending everybody, so and I'm not really setting up protection, but that's the idea, okay? And and, and send five or send six, you're going to have these mismatches uh, within your formation. So here's stick, and I think stick's the best one, the sharp cutter, uh, sharp cutting corner route here. If you ever get in trouble, you can always ag catch it and at least protect yourself from getting any, any, any kind of interception. But the other big piece of this is now their users in the middle of the field, and they're going to eventually have to drop these hard flats out. When they start dropping these hard flats out, that is when it's time, uh, again, to go to your corner routes because your corner routes is now going to isolate the man coverage and that tight end flat is going to pull the flat out. So they have to have two flat zones and two yellow zones. You're basically forcing your opponent to have to run zone. Last little thing of this concept that I wanted to go over um, is utilizing this deep attack play. So... Once they start to drop people in coverage, this deep attack play is really effective. It's more of a coverage beater. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to put the running back on a wheel. We are going to put the tight end on a flat, and we're going to drag both receivers on the bunch side. From there, we're just going to motion this guy across. So you see we have our foundational mesh concept, but we're pairing it with a wheel route to the running back. And what you're going to see here is now this opens up the whole middle of the field for this deeper post route to be able to work. Doesn't always beat man this year. It's just the way the game plays right now, honestly. Um, but it can certainly beat man. Another thing that a lot of people like to do is they'll, they'll man up linebackers on, um, you know, you might get like a man up here and, you know, kind of get an adjustment, right? If you get stuff like that by utilizing the running back wheel, now what you're going to be able to do here is you're going to isolate this running back wheel on a potential linebacker. So you get a potential mismatch. If he's if he's matched up on a linebacker, he'll normally just beat it, whether it's a safety or not. Um, if it's like a if he's in the box, quote unquote, then it's going to be open. This is also a really good way if people are blitzing you. Um, this is also a really really good way to combat the scissor adjustment. I'll show you a setup like that. So let's say they're blitzing you and you want to run this concept. You're going to motion the slot receiver because that's going to put the tight end on the line so you can block him. So we have the mesh concept and then we've paired this with that running back wheel route. So as long as we have time in the pocket, this running back wheel route will absolutely destroy uh, the scissor adjustment over the top. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. There's a lot of different ways that you can utilize mesh in your offense. I think it's the best way to beat man coverage right now. And I think if you could truly understand the power of the, the corner route, if they are running all out man coverage, if they are running all out man coverage, the corner route might be the better way to attack this because they're not going to be able to consistently defend it unless they have Deion Sanders with universal coverage, right? And which, you know, obviously they're not going to have early on in the game. So this is my favorite strategy for beating man in this year's game is utilizing these mesh concepts, pairing them with sharp cutting corner routes and sharp cutting post routes, as well as strategically timed running back wheel routes uh, to be able to get separation against really whatever the defense is going to put out on the field. If you want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. For just $10, you will take your Madden game uh, to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.